My name is Peter, Peter Osborough. My father was working in the Belfast Banking Company Limited for many years and his posting before coming to Bangor was in Belfast Bradbury Place where we lived during the war and I can remember the bombs coming down on Easter Tuesday 1941 when nearly 700 people died that night in Belfast. One other thing I remember about that night was early the next morning at a late breakfast my father, we heard a fire engine. My father went to the window. When he came back, he said, I have just seen the Dublin Fire Brigade go past the door. I was at school at, in Belfast at the time. And as a wee boy carrying one's um, gas mask and your books in a little thing over my back. It was really quite, quite a lot to carry when I was only five or six or seven years of age. That was in Belfast uh, before we came to Bangor on the 1st of February, 1949, when my father took up the position of manager of the Belfast Bank branch in Bangor. The Belfast Bank branch in Bangor was the third biggest branch in the company. We, I lived in a, in a big room in, in Belfast, so the room I got in Bangor was just the same in size, but I was able to look out of the window and see the sea, which was the biggest difference. In 1949, I was 14, nearly 14 and a half. And I then had to catch the train every morning to go back to school in Belfast. And I remember I was out of the house at a minute or two to eight o'clock to catch the 10 past eight train to Belfast. So I had to rush up Main Street to get to the train in time. W.T. Osborough, William Thomas Osborough was the eldest son of his father and uh, he was born in the city of Derry in 1894. He was uh, posted to Bangor by the company. He, he'd come up uh, quite hard way, various branches of the bank in Belfast. For a short time, he became number one in the branch in Bradbury Place. And it was from there that he was posted to number one in Bangor. And the Bangor branch was the third biggest branch in the bank. The first and second were one in Belfast and one in Derry. And then Bangor was number three in the Belfast Banking Company Limited branches. In Bangor, we had a very good, very sizable area of grass for a start. And then on the side nearest the lane, there was quite a good uh, vegetable patch. I was not a gardener, <laughs> but I remember sitting out there in the sunshine in June revising for exams, both at school and at university. If it was a sunny day, it was out in that back garden. That's where I first drove a car. Indeed, I remember driving the car into the, the space at the back of the bank, through the big gate on the lane, Bank Lane. Joan Ashley Spiller was her name before she was married. She loved swimming, was her first joy. You had a picky pool, had a, 
a way to get into the sea easily and that's where she liked to swim. Not in the pool itself, but in the sea beside the pool. Picky Pool, of course, is gone. And often when I'm walking along, I would say to her, oh yeah, Picky Pool was just about here. The harbour has changed so much since whenever it was, the 1980s. It is a very good marina, I think, and is uh, well appreciated by all the yachtsmen who visit from other parts of the country or from Europe and sometimes from America. I remember going to Mancarelli's quite often. There were three, I think three Mancarelli brothers and they ran the shop in Bridge Street you could go in, have coffee, you could have soft drinks, you could have light, light things to eat in Andy Mencarelli's The Boulevard. It's not Mencarelli's anymore, of course, but it's still a very favoured place for, for people. It's packed on a sunny day. It was the custom for the manager and his wife to entertain the staff on the last day of June and more particularly the last day of the year. And that was a, lovely, a good evening. Or good evenings. <laughs> well, my mother would ring up and say she wanted something some fish and uh, Sean, who was then only about, I don't know, eight, nine years of age, if that, came running across uh, to deliver it to, the, <laughs> to my mother. He still remembers that because I still see Sean, usually once a week. We still, I still go there. Organic salmon is our favourite. Well, when the bank decided to move up to the main street, my father found a house number 110 Seacliff Road to live in and rented. And that's where I finished up in Bangor, in that house. I'm keen to always feel at home there and often I, if, there's a, if there's something going on, like an invite to go there. <laughs> it was many happy memories, certainly. <laughs>